In today's short video, I'm gonna try out the Rivian bike pad and see if it's worth 200 bucks. Let's do it. All right, so the kids have been begging me to go to a little park that has a pump track a few miles away. A little too far to bike there, so I need to take the bikes with us. I'd like to take one for me, so that means three bikes. But there's a little bit of a problem. I mean, not the best situation in the world, three bikes. Can't close the tailgate, can't close the tunnel cover, but Rivian offers a better solution. Let's check it out. This is the Rivian bike pad, which actually comes in at a pretty reasonable $200 in my opinion. There are a lot of other things on the Rivian uh, swag store that are perhaps a little bit overpriced, but this one by comparison, not terrible. I have not opened this. I'm gonna check it out today and see if it works. There are of course other methods for getting bikes on a truck, including the uh, rack mounted methods. I don't find them all that helpful, but I wanted to try this one out to see if it actually worked. I did get a bike pad uh, lent to me from a friend, but it was for a different vehicle and just simply didn't fit. Plus it covered up the brake lights on the back of the truck. So one of the features here is that it keeps the brake lights uncovered. So I, I think it might work pretty well. Let's try it out. Okay, got it all figured out. Kids? Oh yeah. And I added a fourth bike um, just for good measure because this can hold four. And it holds four pretty darn easily. So it's up about six feet, maybe a little bit higher to the top of the bikes. So I don't think that another rack system would work here. I was wondering that, uh, you know, like a medium sized rack, if I could get the bikes under it. Maybe if I took the seats off, could, but otherwise, no, I don't think so. And there's a little bit of room left behind for stowing stuff, you know, a handful of camping gear, things and so on. So it's it's not, uh, not a whole lot of space, but at least enough. And I like the way this uh, lens here, they're nice and sturdy. So it looks good so far. We gotta take it for a drive and test it out. Nice. Notice that if you turn on park assist, uh, the rear accessory mode, it assumes that there's a bike trailer back there. Um, and then what that means is that here, you can see it says off down here in the reverse area. However, if uh, you have the bike pad, you don't need uh, that particular item. So you can keep it right here in regular mode and the backup cameras work just as they would backup sensors. I want to point out another thing that has been going on since we had this bike pad on. I actually haven't taken it off since I put it on. And part of the reason is because we took it out on a camping trip and uh, we actually had another rack here in the back and it really protected the bumper from, you know, getting scratched on this rack. And I realized that just having this pad on the back is actually kind of a nice little safety measure just to keep things from getting scratched. And of course, when the pad is on because of this opening here, you can see this uh, tail light and the brake lights just fine. You can see the backup camera here down on the license plate and all the sensors work just fine as if the pad weren't on. I think it's a pretty good product all around. It solves a really important use case for us, which is what happens when you have more than two bikes or when you don't have the racks on and you wanna just throw the bikes over the back tailgate. 
Also, when you don't want something up really high, like say you don't want to, you have a low garage and you want to keep things a little bit lower uh, to, to keep the bikes from being up too high, driving through garages and so on. So I actually like this method much better. The bikes are easier to get on and off than uh, in my opinion to get them all the way up on the bike rack. Those other racks are fine, but this one is a pretty elegant solution, I think, and looks pretty great. And if you're worried about somebody stealing the bike pad off the back of your tailgate, well, so long as you have the tunnel cover all the way up against here, well, then they can't steal it unless the vehicle's unlocked. And yes, you can still use the tailgate as normal when the bike pad is on there. So, fun afternoon. A couple of scraped knees I gotta go fix, but uh, we had a good time. Catch you later. She's going for the big ball. <laughs>